The Valheim Mistlands reveal has taken the internet by storm and everybody is super excited to check out the new biome along with all the new content. It revealed so much more content than we could have hoped for and I'm sure you're very excited to start your new adventures in Valheim as well. So in this short guide I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to get access to the public test for the Mistlands, all the new content for both single player and prepare your server for it. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So let's start off by setting it up for single player. So what you're going to do is go to Valheim on Steam, click on the latest patch notes. Right here you will find pretty much everything you need to do. But most importantly, you want to copy the code exactly right here, which says, yes, I made backup. So we're going to control C, close this one, and then go to Valheim in our library in the bottom left. We're going to right click, go to properties, then you want to search for the beta tab and then paste the yes I made backups right here and press check code. Then it will say success, beta unlocked and your game should update. Before you launch the game though, I definitely recommend you to first make a backup of all your saves for both your worlds and your characters as the new patch might break them. To make a backup, you want to press Windows and then type in percent updata percent. Press enter and then you want to go to local. We're going to search for Iron Gate folder, Valheim. In this folder, you will find your character and world folders for both the online or cloud saves as well as the local ones. But uh, what you can basically do is select every single one of them, press Ctrl C, create a new folder, call it backup and then just paste everything in right there. All right, so there you have it. Now you can launch Valheim, create a new character or continue with your old one as if something happens, you will always have a backup, create a new world. Personally, I think the best way to explore all the new Mistlands content is to check it out with friends on a server. As a G Portal partner, I will use their website as an example. By the way, if you want to have a nice discount for server hosting, check out the link in the top right of the screen. So what you want to do is go to the My Server tab. Search for your Valheim server and click on it. Then you basically want to go to the basic settings in the top left of the screen and take your server offline to make some changes. The only basic setting which you're going to have to change is the branch right here. We're going to have to change this one from Valheim to public test. Of course, since we're creating a new world to check out the new biomes, make sure that the world generation functions correctly, I also recommend you to create a new world, as only then the mislands will pop up for sure. And also change the save game name, as a new world also comes with a new save. Then we're gonna save the settings and you can put your server online once again. All right, so there you have it, the mislands update for Valheim, how you set it up for single player and multiplayer. Once you've launched up the game and see Mistlands in the title, you're ready to check out the new content. Right now, all you need to do is create a new world. Go with any seed, pick a nice name for it and fire up this bad boy. Of course, you can also join a community server or set up your own, which I just showed you, but that is basically it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button as it helps out the channel. Very much appreciated. And of course, if you want to stay in the loop with my future content, don't hesitate to subscribe. I am very excited to explore all the new content the Mistlands update has to offer. Without doubt, I'm going to make plenty of videos for it. So definitely stay tuned. Right now, though, it is 4am out. I want to wish you a lot of fun with the new update. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.